YouTube, run it with it and natural. And in this trial, I'll show you guys the best settings for your Mr. Bash tool when you're going to do your frequency separation. I've been getting so many questions about the settings for my mixer brush tool in order to retain that nice skin texture and that nice natural skin texture in all my images so i want to show you guys what i do and the settings i use and the best settings for the frequency separation remember you have to first of all ensure that you know the bit size or the bit ratio of your image and first of all in order to know the bit size or the bit ratio for your image, you can simply check right above here. If at all you have 8, 16 or 32, but usually it is 8 bit and 16 bit. So for this case, I only have a 16 bit image, but I'm going to be showing you guys also a settings for the 8 bit image. So I'll first of all go through uh, frequency separation because this is the basis for uh, your mixer brush tool to work well when you're going to blend or even out the skin tones using frequency separation so usually for frequency separation we have two layers and we have a layer one and i'm just going to get the two layers so you have to make two layers from your background layer so we have the background and these two layers and if at all you have the action and you play it you you are going to be having these two layers right here so the bottom layer is usually the low uh, frequency and the up layer is usually the high frequency like this so and usually we deactivate the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer then we come to filter and we come to blur and we come to gaussian blur so usually what we do for this step uh, we always make sure we, we zoom and look for the area. So this is going to determine the textures are going to be remaining with in your overall image. So come and start moving this until... So just look for the area that has uh, more skin textures in your image. And for this case, I think this area has more skin textures uh, than the overall image. So you're going to blur out all remove these textures from the image on this low frequency layer so it can only remain with the colors and the skin tones so move this as you're looking at the preview make sure it is on so continue moving until you feel like uh, these have been completely uh, lost out uh, from the image so I think I will have completely lost out on the textures uh, in this image. So you shouldn't also cram these figures because they are going to be differing uh, in all your images. Remember some images are going to be having more details meaning you are going to be having to use a higher radius and some images are going to be maybe slightly uh, out focus and meaning you are going to be using a lower radius. Right here so you shouldn't cram this figure and after doing so we come and click ok so this is where the deferring basically happens so you can see right now we have the low frequency looking out of focus so come and select the high frequency and activate it so if at all you have an action it is going to be doing all this for you but I just want to explain each and everything because I want you guys to understand why my Mr. Bash tool works better than yours. So select the high frequency layer and come to image and come to apply image. So when you do come to apply image, uh, remember right now we have a 16 bit image. And for a 16 bit image, uh, simply come and select the low frequency layer because this is the layer we want to subtract the textures from. So I want to I remove the textures that will blood out from this layer and put them in the high frequency layer then if at all you have a 16-bit image the blending mode is going to be add opacity 100 scale 2 and offset at 0 but for a 16-bit image always make sure you check or mark the invert option and you'll see that the textures are going to be on this 
gray kind of layer and for an 8-bit image remember you select the low frequency layer and 8-bit images you change the blending mode from add to subtract opacity 100 scale is 2 and offset 128 and make sure invert is not checked or marked and you'll have your textures looking like that so since i have a 16-bit image as you can see right here i'm going to uh, change the blending mode to add and opacity 100 scale is 2 and offset 0 and make sure i check the invert option and click ok so when you do that usually come to the low the blending mode rather and change it from normal and look for linear light and you'll have back your image the way it was initially before so for this case we're going to put these two in a group by hitting selecting both and hitting ctrl or command g on the keyboard or you can simply drag both layers to this group icon and you can simply name that frequency separation so i think we are good to go and usually when i'm going to be using my uh mixer brush tool uh the very first step i do or i go for is coming to the high frequency layer and creating a black and white adjustment layer on top of the high frequency layer like that so the reason for this is because i want to see the uneven skin tones in the image i'm going to come to the reds and i'm going to darken them so when you darken now you can see uh, every area that has uneven skin tone transitions since skin retouching is more of harmonizing or blending the transitions in the skin tone so back to the major emphasis of this tutorial this tutorial is more about the best settings for your mixer brush tool and why my mixer brush tool works uh, better than yours so we're going to come under the brushes and right click and look for the mixer brush tool so this is a mixer brush tool and not the brush tool it is a mixer brush tool so when you come right there uh, this is where we have to pay maximum attention always make sure that uh, it is a clean brush so make sure you click right here on this drop down icon and click clean brush so we have two options right here we have a load the brush after each and every stroke so we don't want any color loaded on the brush when we are trying to blend or mix the skin tones we want the second option so make sure you select the second option and when you select it, it is going to be getting this tiny dark square and this means that the brush is going to be cleaning itself after each and every stroke when you're trying to blend or even out the skin tones in the image so the wetness i use is a uh, nine percent for almost all my images because i want to retain as much skin texture as possible in all my images and uh, the load i'm going to be using is going to be 75 because i don't want the brush to be overloaded but i just want slightly overloaded so i'm going to have 75 the mix i want to blend the skin tones really well but not too much that's why i'm not i'm not going to go with a hundred percent i'm going to go with 90 percent and the flow 100 percent so the trick is you have to make sure sample alias is not checked or selected because we only want to work on the low frequency layer so i'm going to come and i'm going to select the low frequency layer and i'm going to start harmonizing or blending the skin tones of this very image so i'm going to zoom in slightly and when you're doing this make sure you blend the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone i'm going to increase on the size of the mixer brush tool by using the uh, brackets on the keyboard so the brackets i mean these brackets right after the p on the keyboard so the left bracket is going to reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool and the right is going to increase on the size of the mixer brush tool so simply start blending or evening out on the skin tones but make sure you're on your low frequency layer and just harmonize or blend the tones in the image like that and you shouldn't uh, over blend a particular area because it's going to be doubling the wetness effect like if at all i blend here for a long time it is going to be uh, making 
this effect or the wetness to around 18% and you wouldn't want that because you want to retain as a much natural skin textures as possible for this very image. So you can see we're just harmonizing or evening out the skin tones using uh, the mixer brush tool. So come and just blend like that. So let's see the before and after. So we're going to turn off the black and white and we see the before, after, before, after uh, for this very image. And you can simply as well work without the help of our black and white layer and you can just work on your colored image if at all you really trust your site anyway. So just come and blend or even out the skin tones like that. So I hope you guys are learning something. So if at all I want to blend right on the nose area, I'm going to simply come and activate the black and white layer. But when you're activating it, make sure you're still selected on the low frequency layer and I come and blend this shadow on the nose area like that. Just come and blend uh, that shadow and come this side and also blend or even out uh, this area too like that and since we have a highlight I'm just going to reduce on the size of the brush and I'm just going to uh, blend the tones in the highlight like that so come this side and also harmonize or blend or even out the tones so I'm going to turn this off and show you guys the progress. This is the before, after, before, after. So basically, uh, these are my settings for the mixer brush tool. The before, after, before, after. So this is what I usually do or how I set up my mixer brush tool to get the best settings out of my images. And if at all you learned something from this story, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.